Subaru's most remarkable engineering ingenuity is showcased throughout its diverse range of cars. Their sedans, hatchbacks, and even SUVs emanate superior Japanese craftsmanship. Toyota and Subaru's partnership has been a long-standing one and has fared well in the sports coupe segment with the Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ. These cars are the same for those who aren't aware of them. There must be a reason for their relationship. In 2020, Subaru joined the Toyota Motor Group, and Toyota has been increasing its stake in Subaru. The 2023 Subaru Solterra will be available in mid-2022, but we like to highlight some of the SUV's best features. Welcome to TechSpot! While many manufacturers had engaged in producing variants of electric vehicles, Subaru has been very slow to jump on the EV movement. Considering that most manufacturers already have a lineup of standard EVs, the 2023 Subaru Solterra will be the carmaker's first all-electric vehicle. Subaru seems to be left behind in the production of EVs. This 2023 Subaru Solterra is a partnership effort between Subaru and Toyota. These Japanese manufacturers collaborated to build the SUV, the Japanese carmaker. Subaru was the 21st largest automaker by production in 2017. While Toyota is selling its version as the Toyota BZ4X. 10. Multiple Useful Drive Modes The 2023 Solterra has four Eco, Normal, Sports, and X-Mode Drive Modes. Though Subaru has not released detailed information regarding the specifics, drivers can have a sportier or more dynamic performance with the Sport Mode. The X Mode is available only on the higher trim levels with dual electric motors. The fear of a tire experiencing slippage is conquered as the X Mode assists the driver in such bad driving situations. The X Mode can be easily activated with a button when such a situation arises. 9. Symmetrical All-Wheel Drive Since the development of the symmetrical all-wheel drive system in the 1970s, most of their models have featured this. Rear-wheel drive sports cars, such as the Subaru BRZ and K cars, on the other hand, are exempt. Though Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive has different variations, the system consists of a boxer engine mounted longitudinally and a balanced drivetrain. Subaru, starting out with their first pure electric car, has implemented this system. With its symmetrical all-wheel drive system, the 2023 Solterra will be able to handle a variety of terrains while maintaining consistent stability. 8. eSubaru Global Platform Subaru's modular unibody platform is referred to as the Subaru Global Platform. It is often abbreviated as SGP and was first used for the brand's Impreza in the 2060 model year. Now, most cars are built on this platform. Subaru has developed an electric version of its global platform, following the imminent release of the manufacturer's first pure EVs. 7. Zero Emissions Subaru does not consider itself being left behind in EV production. The manufacturer seems to care about the auto emissions on the environment. A more significant percentage, if not all, of Subaru's models meet the strict regulations in the United States. However, the manufacturer still tries as much as possible to reduce the emission. To start with, Subaru has partial zero-emission vehicles PZEV in their lineup. The PZEV are gasoline-powered cars with zero evaporative emissions. Now with their first all-electric vehicle, Subaru has an entirely emission-free vehicle. 6. New Safety and Driver's Assistance Features Subaru's philosophy centers around safety and reliability. Over the years, the Japanese manufacturer has been known for building safe, reliable, and practical cars. This reassures us not to expect anything less of the 2023 Solterra. Subaru has some new features that will debut on the Solterra aside from its regular safety features. These features include the Safety Exit Alert, 360 degrees surround view camera, and parking support brakes. While attempting to escape the vehicle, the new Safety Exit Alert uses an auditory and visual projection to warn passengers of cars, pedestrians, 
or any other obstructions on the road. 5. One Pedal Driving Unlike every conventional car, the Subaru Solterra has a unique build of one pedal driving. With this recent feature, drivers can drive a car entirely on a trip by the accelerator alone. How then was this made possible? One pedal driving in electric cars is only made possible through regenerative braking. Here is what the process looks like. Regenerative braking takes wasted kinetic energy from the car braking process and uses it to recharge the EV's battery. This process is called the energy recovery process. Most electric cars support one-pedal driving and can perform regenerative driving. But what makes the Subaru Solterra different is that the driver can select regenerative braking levels from the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. 4. Water Repellent Upholstery The precisely designed Solterra's interior seats are covered with StarTex water repellent material. Subaru has a non-leather upholstery option called StarTex, built of polyurethane. Solterra being an adventure car, it is only practical that the manufacturer used a water repellent material to outfit the car's upholstery. The StarTex water repellent fabric has much lesser weight and is more durable than leather. The Subaru Solterra's interior is well designed and will undoubtedly improve the in-cabin experience of its passengers. The stylish all-electric crossover SUV features an authoritative seating position for the driver. At the same time, the seats themselves add to the cheerful ambience of the car with their attractive textured finish. 3. Dual Tailgate Spoilers The SUV has dual rear spoilers at the top of the tailgate in its aerodynamic engineering. The spoilers are mounted on each side of the tailgate's top and are designed like flaps. Like the finely carved lines on the SUV's body, the tailgate spoilers will help reduce drag. Though the dual spoiler design on the Subaru Solterra isn't popular and looks stylish, it will enhance acceleration and general performance. Double tailgate spoilers are also used on Toyota's BZ4X. 2. Solterra Connect App Subaru cars are not new to app usage, as most of them already use the Starlink app but the manufacturer has developed a new app for the new EV, exclusive to the Solterra models only. The Solterra is equipped with the Solterra Connect app. With the Solterra Connect app, drivers can do many things remotely like regulating climate control, intelligent access navigation, and unlocking the vehicle. With the app, drivers can find charging stations nearby when running low on energy. The voice-activated assistance, triggered by saying, Hey, Subaru is fascinating. Subaru would be adding their first new feature for the first time, which hasn't been on any other Subaru. In fact, so many have asked for this in the past, and Subaru has finally released this on the Solterra. We are talking about the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For many that are not familiar with the benefits of the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto, it helps you mirror the apps from your phone upon the touchscreen display of your car and you can have your phone kept away neatly, and you can actually navigate and click on your apps from your car's touchscreen display. So that means you can also use music streaming apps like Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, or whichever your preferred streaming app is to listen to your favorite artists. With Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this tends to use a lot of power on your phone. Subaru has addressed this by offering wireless charging on your Subaru Solterra. So wireless charging is currently offered on some Subaru models that have the gasoline engine but are not offered. 1. Charging Access Solterra is the first of many electrics from Subaru. As you all know now, what is an electric vehicle without a charging station? While making EVs, it is essential to note that charging stations are easily accessible to customers. As a result, many manufacturers have collaborated with electric charging companies to improve charging accessibility. Subaru made an announcement. Following the announcement of a Solterra, they've selected EVgo as their primary charging partner. This choice is solid because EVgo is currently the leading charging company with over 800 locations. Furthermore, because EVgo is powered entirely by renewable energy, Solterra owners will easily access charging stations. The Solterra can also be home charged and not necessarily at charging stations. 
After you get your Subaru Solterra in 2023, you'll have two options for charging your all-electric SUV. Your purchase will contain a Level 1 charger that may be used with any regular 120V outlet. All you have to do is plug in your vehicle before going to bed, and in the morning, you'll have an ultimately charged battery. But if you need a faster way to charge your EV in your garage, you can have a Level 2 system installed. Level 2 charging supplies 240V to your vehicle's battery, allowing for faster charging times than Level 1. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.